some of my classroom routine. In this corner, I prepared to post a job card where the assigned pupils know their tasks as they every day routine with their group. The other side, I prepared the class schedule so that they will know their class routine as such as meeting time, recess, story time, indoor or outdoor, and also their dismissal. Furthermore, I've also posted this chart called Reach for the Stars where in every Tuesday, we held a special day where they can showcase their talents and after that, they will draw a hand and place it here. In this activity, it can increase their confidence, comfort levels, and support in regulating their behavior. Why I prefer this kind of sitting arrangement in my pupils? As we can see, kinder pupils are always playful and want someone or something that can make their day joyful. However, not all kinder students want the same thing. I prefer to arrange this seat this way because I want my pupils to socialize while learning. We know some of our kinder pupils are not used in socializing and I want them to develop it while they're still young. And we don't know if some of our students are alone or lonely in their home. That's why we have a school that called their second home to make them feel safe, loved, and secure. This is the hygiene kit area. This is the collection of items dedicated to preventing the spread of germs. We must know that it is necessary to teach our pupils to become hygienic since the spread of viruses are crucial in today's time. I prefer to put this hygiene kit in this area in order for them to be safe. Today, I will introduce you the classroom furniture arrangement. The purpose of this conduct is to establish guidelines for, for the appropriate arrangement and usage of furniture in the classroom. Number one, no furniture should block entrance and exits or walk face, maintaining easy access for evacuation during emergencies. Two, respect for furniture. Treat class, treat the classroom furniture with care and respect. Last, net and organize. Maintain a net and organized classroom environment to keep the personal belongings, avoiding clutters on desks and spaces. This is what my classroom looks like. As a teacher, I always wanted my classroom to be properly organized, to manage, safe, and secure environment for my students to roam around in every corner of our room. I am always responsible for the neatness of our classroom, teaching and training my students the proper ways to maintain the cleanliness of our classroom. I know for sure my students can foster a positive attitude in this way of learning which can help them being responsible of their own actions and be observant enough in their surroundings and can also give them the motivations to learn more. Some come, come upon a positive environment. environment. Susan Brooke. Susan Brooke. Thanks for watching.